I want you to think to yourself right now, what are the worst feelings on this planet? Getting sick, getting slosh, running on absolutely no sleep, whatever that is you thought in your head, times that by a hundred and that's God. And everybody has felt rejection at least once in their life. And I mean, unless you just don't go outside at all. You may have felt the feeling of rejection when you asked to play kickball and the bullies, they were hella mean. So they said, no, you're not popular. That may or may not have happened to me. But when it comes to the girls, I was a connoisseur of getting rejected. Like I was, I was that guy. You know, I was Stefan Hinn threes of getting rejected. Like every time he make a free throw, I began reject. But now somehow I did it. It's like the earth exploded. I'm still awkward of shit, but I somehow got a girlfriend. I don't know how the fuck I did it, but you know what? I'm happy. I like her a lot, so I'm not even gonna question it. But yeah, about a year ago, I had absolutely zero game. Like, if you think it's bad now, it was so much worse a year ago. Now, of course, I was a freshman in college at this time, and I tried entering the dating game, and I was like, all right, time to download Tinder. First mistake. I don't know why the fuck I did. Don't use Tinder. That shit's buns. Like, you literally have to pay to even be seen by people. That shit's ass. I was seen by maybe two people, and obviously, I got ghosted. Like, that's just what happened. I got barely any swipes on my profile, and I was like, damn, am I really just butt ugly, or like, what the fuck? And then, of course, I stumbled upon the YouTube tutorials of how to be successful on Tinder. And, of course, I got to picture taking. I went on top of this fucking parking garage, and I went to take pictures of myself. And I even got questioned by a cop. He's like, yo, what are you doing here? Like, are you okay? Like, are you high right now? I was like, oh, no, I was just like, actually taking a picture for my Tinder profile. That is literally what I sounded like in that moment. And I had absolutely no success at all. So what did I decide to do instead? I'm like, all right, it's time for me to step up my game. Time to actually go out in the real world. I went to this restaurant for my friend's confirmation, and there was this girl there sitting across from me. I think it was a year ago today, but I was talking to this girl, and things went well. So afterward, I I like went up to her and asked for her snap. You know that that took balls of me, but I was like, um, yeah. So uh 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 Snapchat uh do you, do you, uh do you have a, a Snapchat that you would like to? Uh, yeah, it was bad. It was all. Like, I had zero confidence at all, but then I finally fucking muttered out the words like, hey, uh, do you want to add my Snapchat? And she said, sure. So she added me. She probably just felt bad, bro. Like, come on. Like, I was really just scaring the girls away, bro. And we were talking for about a week, and then then she goes to my And I was like, all right, you know what? I just gotta brush it off the chin and just move on. Time to level the fuck up. And this was around the time I started my birdie channel. It was the fall of 2022, and, you know, my, my social skills have gotten a little bit better after the spring of last year. I'm like, okay, it's time to, time to level the fuck up. So I I joined this frat and you know I was getting to talking with some people and one night they were like yo bro we kind of fuck with you uh we're gonna invite you back to our suite I'm like oh bet and then the sorority girls came in and I'm like all right it's time not my time to shine I was talking all my shit I better not go on the weather app and I was talking to this girl and to say the least I I fumbled the bag I was awkward as shit and there was just no hiding that like I was so fucking nervous but it got to the point where I didn't even ask until the very end of the night like and when I asked she got up and left she probably didn't even hear me say her name bro like that is just embarrassing in my head i was like damn oh shit i guess it just did not go well then but fast forward to october i got a little more confident i got out there more and i decided to attend my local club and this was a bad idea the chances of you meeting somebody who's committed to you at the club is just so fucking low it's crazy i met this girl and she literally just came up to me and like asked for my snap because she saw me walking around apparently i gave it to her and i was with my friends that night and don't get me wrong it was a fun ass night, but some questionable ass shit happened. I was offered a, a white substance. Yeah, I, I think you, I think you can put the pieces together. And I went up to my friends and I was geeked. I was like, oh my god, I got this girl snap, guys. Holy shit. And my friend was like, yo, go dance with her or you're a pussy. Like, just do it now. I'm like, uh, like, what do I have? And he's just like, just go, just go do it. And a little bit of liquor in the system, all right? So obviously I went up to her and I, I did it. And literally after like five minutes, she was like, oh, my dad's here to pick me up. I gotta go. I, I fucked that up so bad. Like, I was a really shit dancer. I don't know if she just expected me to be Michael Jackson on skates or what was up, but she just said she had to go. I'm not sure. But we were talking for about a week after that, and, you know, things were going well. I FaceTimed her. I was on the phone with her for three fucking hours. I wasted so much goddamn. I could have been working on another video for y'all, but instead I was, I, my stupid ass was, like, talking to this girl over the phone. And in that moment, I was head over heels for that girl, but looking back on it, I was like, yeah, fuck no. 
know. Like, we had nothing in common. Literally nothing. After, like, about a week of talking, she told me she wasn't looking for a relationship right now. Well, she just wasn't feeling me. I was sad, bro. My heart was beating really fast. My head was hanging low, and I was just sick to my stomach. And I was like, damn, bro. I really fumbled the bag. There was no bag, bro. That girl was weird as sh. Literally not even kidding you. She told me she wasn't looking to date anybody right now, which is fair enough. It's fine. Just tell me you're not feeling me. When people say I'm not looking for a relationship, it's I'm not looking for a relationship with you. That's what it means. That That's actually what it means. So my friend was also on dating apps and he found the girl that I was talking to on the dating app. And he's like, yo, is that, is this the girl you were talking to? I'm like, yeah, bro, that is, that is just crazy tough. Clearly I got no drip, no riz, no nothing. I got to step up my game. And after that, I was so heartbroken. I decided to set up my fucking Tinder account again. This was dumb as hell. I don't know what I was doing. So I reset it up and I got this girl to match with me. And we basically planned a date and everything. I'm like, all right, that's cool. I got to cop an outfit then. I got to get ready for this date. I buy an outfit and everything. Get ready. And then literally like the day before she was like, oh, sorry. Like I'm not going to be able to make it to our date. Uh, can we reschedule to next week? And at this point I knew it was wraps. I knew it was done. I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's, let's reschedule to next week. I already knew that wasn't happening. I'm like, at this point I knew it was wraps. She said she had homework. Stop capping, bro. You do not have homework, bro. If I was really that important to you, you would say, all right, you know what? Fuck this homework. I'm going on a date. And the, you know what? That's just how I felt. I was like, yeah, clearly I'm not that important then. I texted her one more time and never got a response. And I'm like, yeah, fuck this. I kind of knew that was going to happen. And at this point, it was getting to me so bad. Like my self-esteem was through the floor. I was like, damn, bro. Like, am I the problem? Because I'm getting rejected like left and right. So clearly it's, it's got to be me or some shit. And I decided to talk to this one girl that I saw in my class. I'm like, all right, you know what? I I'll, I'm going to go talk to her. And I did. I talked to her and everything was going well. Like we walked for like five minutes as we were talking. At this point, it was November. And this one's got to be the worst out of all of them for certain. Like it's got to be. It stung the most, I got to say. So we were talking about just like what we were majoring in in school and shit like that. I asked if she had snap and she gave it to me. I'm like, oh damn, it's going, it's going well, I guess. And I'm like, all right, this is it. I cannot fumble the bag here. And I texted her later that night. And let's just say, yeah, th there, were, there was no bag in the first place there was even not even a bag to be fumbled she was already seeing somebody so i'm like oh i was a little bit defeated i was like damn that is just tough like i mean i i just keep taking l's on top of l's and you know it was it was hurting a little bit i'm not gonna lie and i just texted her back i was like okay that's fine no worries i'll see you in class and then she hit me with a see you in class winky face i was like bro what is that supposed to, what is that even supposed to mean i was like damn like didn't you just say you had a boyfriend i, I don't know i was so goddamn confused this whole dating thing just had me confused. It had me rethinking my life, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, damn, I really gotta do some reevaluating, huh? That's crazy. But anyways, I was partnered up with this girl to read her paper, right? Uh, for this assignment. And her paper was literally about her boyfriend. You do not know how much that stung. I was like, damn, that is just tough. Like, the dude kind of looked like me, too. And I'm like, shit, maybe it's just God rubbing it in my face that I get no girls. I don't know what's up. And in one of my friend groups, yeah, I was, I was the laughing stock for getting no girls and it, it was just tough and i just couldn't even focus on my schoolwork my videos or anything this my self-esteem was just so fucking low maybe maybe there will actually be a day where uh, a girl steps on birdie territory rejection hurts like a bitch you gotta take it on the chin and the more you get rejected the less painful it is it's kind of like one of those things you do it more and more and eventually you'll just get used to it and you gotta think about it there's like billions of girls out there and don't sleep on yourself because i know Oh, there's at least one girl on this earth that would like so you should just try to not let it get to you I know it's hard, but you just got to do it It will happen when you least expect literally a month later not even kidding you I started talking to my girlfriend and we hit it off and we were both feeling each other want another video to watch watch this video on screen Anyways, I'm out. Bye